<sighs> Happy Halloween, everybody! Um, I figured I would try to make a video before I take all of this off. Um, I was gonna do an update thing before Halloween, but uh, my schedule has been crazy, so please forgive me for the lack of content on my blog lately. Um, academic, academia is high priority right now, and I've been completely stressed out for the past couple weeks or so, and this week and next week will probably be pretty intense, so I am so sorry for that. Um, I also was gonna make a video Saturday, this past Saturday, because I didn't feel like actually writing a review for this. So instead, um, just in case I won't get a chance to post what I wanted to post today for Halloween, I figured I'd do my review in my supposed costume for today. Um, so don't, I'm, I probably won't make this a habit of doing reviews through video, but I think I can best explain it this way. So, anyway, Saturday I went to go see Silent Hill Revelation with my friend. And I didn't see it in 3D. Um, I, if you don't already know, I don't support 3D movement. I just don't. I'm sorry, Hollywood. But if you want to want if you want to try to make more money with your ideas, you need to do something. Dare I say original, or just something different would be nice, or at least better quality enough so you could make up for you know losses, not 3D. So um, I'll say um. I'm going to save the spoilers for the end of the video, just in case you've never seen it. And normally when I do reviews, I don't add spoilers unless, I don't know, it's just really important I have a lot to say about the movie. Um, when I do, I give warning, so I will definitely give warning just in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, so if you didn't know... Uh, I am a big Silent Hill fan. Like, I love Silent Hill. It has a great story. And when I heard that a movie was being made some years ago, I was ecstatic. I was excited. Me and my best friend were just, we were waiting. And when it came, I saw the movie in theaters twice. And I ended up buying the movie. And... I would show you the case because I didn't bring it with me, but I let someone borrow it because they hadn't seen the first one. The, the friend I went to go see, the second one with, he hadn't seen the first one. So, the first one is loosely based on the first game with bits and pieces of the second and third game. So... If you don't know the story of Silent Hill, it's, it revolves around, of course, a town called Silent Hill, and there's a cult there that wanted to birth a god through this woman, I, Dahlia's daughter, Alessa, she was the chosen one to birth this god, but it didn't go the way they wanted to. So... The town ended up being, I guess, kind of cursed, not really, but her soul split into two, and so it, that's why the ritual didn't go successfully. And her other half, her better half, her good half, went into this child called Cheryl, and Cheryl is hen. Harry's daughter, Harry Mason's daughter, and he is the main character of the game. In the movie, it's a little different. Um, there's still, you know, the town, and there's still, you know, nightmares being portrayed in the town, and there's still, you know, cold and a not quite 
ritual type thing. It was a witch burning, cliche witch burning, and the main character was was Rose, uh, a woman, not a man. Um, I wanted to rewatch the first one and look at the extra features because I, if I'm gonna put an annotation up there to link you to Twin Twin uh, Twin Perfect Channel. They have a, it's, it's really long, it's five hours worth of history of the fr franchise of Silent Hill. So it'll explain everything that happened. And I, I don't know if I can link this to, but somebody did a really good review of five things they had problems with the first movie. And I'm anticipating what she thinks of the second one. But overall... Um, the first movie is okay. It's loosely based on the game. They did change some stuff. I, after letting it sit in my head for, I guess, a little longer, uh, after I watched it at home, I realized there were so many problems and it wasn't completely with the game storyline. But, um... Comparing it to the second one, I think it was actually better. The first one was actually better, strangely. The writing is still poor, but um, they both have problems, but I believe the second one had more problems. And I'll, I'll voice my opinion of what I think would have made it better. So, the... So in the first movie, Rose takes her daughter, Sharon, I believe, to the town because she keeps saying, Silent Hill, Silent Hill, and I don't know. And then you kind of get the backstory back and forth between Rose and her husband. That this girl was, uh, I guess, a bastard child. She didn't have a father. Um, her mother tried to protect her. She was bullied and teased by her classmates. And there's a hint of she got raped by the janitor, but they don't really say much about it. So it seems like I completely find the scene. But they burned her as a witch because she was, I guess, different or something. And her soul separated. And so that's why her Alessa's, Alessa and Alessa's soul separated and went into Sharon and chaos. and trying to fix that, rectify it. But um, the second one, it shows that Sharon, now uh, Heather, which kind of bothered me a little bit of how they revealed that, but I'll get into that a little later. Um, Heather and her father, now called Harry, moved from city to city uh, because her father killed someone, so she he was trying to just provide a better life, but something strange is going on that makes Heather want to go to Silent Hill, but there are so many signs to tell her not to go, but she goes anyway, of course. Um, so we find out a little bit about the cult and... I guess Heather's purpose and Heather. It tries to go with the storyline of the third game with a, a bit of the second. It's more so monster wise than anything. So, yeah. I had. I, I groaned so much in that movie. So, um, let's put this into a pro and con thing without spoilers. So, the things I liked about the movie was the visuals were good, the CGI was good, except um, I know a lot of people like the mannequin spider monster thing. I didn't really like that at all. Uh, it looked really, it looked kind of cool, but in a way kind of silly compared to like the other stuff. But the environment seemed nice, but uh, this kind of goes into a con as well, but I mean, I'll touch upon that a little later. Um, let's see. Uh, the people they picked were okay-ish, I guess. 
the person they picked for Heather had a, a good look, so and I I guess that's fine. I, I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, my favorite scene in the whole movie is with the nurses. This isn't, I guess I can explain what happens, um, kind of, it's not much of a spoiler. Uh, Vincent gets captured and he's on like a, a gurney or stretch or whatever. Mm -hmm. He gets wheeled into this room by the, the cult people, a couple of the cult people, whatever, and the, there's nurses in that room and they, they move when they hear noises and it looked pretty awesome. That's like the best part of like the whole movie. I I love the nurses. Awesome. So, okay. Cons, I have lots. Um the environments, like I was saying, I liked that they improved upon the environments, but they didn't give us a chance to indulge, immerse ourselves in that environment like the first one did. So, I didn't really like that. The acting was, like I said, so-so, but there were some lines that were delivered so strangely, or they were, they come off as laughable and unbelievable, and Rose's character became kind of pathetic because she's trapped, and she's like, oh, my darling, my darling, that bothered me, and Heather had weak moments, and I didn't, I hated Vincent's character, he seemed completely pointless. Um, and I don't know if uh, it's because I'm a fan of the series. And Vincent is my favorite character in the series, between the, in the storyline of one and three. And I hated that he was the love, the love interest kind of. That that annoyed me because it seemed weird. And it seemed like Douglas seemed to have some promise, but he wasn't in the movie that long, like I thought he would be. And, uh, what is her name? I think it's Claudia, the cult leader. I, I, I don't know what was going on with her styling. I did not, I did not like her styling at all. The way they styled her was awful. It looked, I, I don't know if that was her real hair or wig, but it looked really bad. It, she did not look intimidating or scary like the Claudia in the game at all. Um, I, this, the writing was weaker than the first one. It just seemed like we introduce a character, then there's, then we'll never see that person again, and then there's some, like, petty action, and then we'll meet another character, and then they'll explain stuff, which is another thing I hated, is that they keep explaining stuff, and today in class we learned about show, don't tell. Show, don't tell. You don't have to dumb down everything and explain everything. Silent Hill has a great story to work on and if you're going to try to base it on that story, you should try. You shouldn't change it because the changes they made, they had to like, they they added more than what they needed and then they had to explain it and that's some a problem I had with the first one. So it's like, why didn't you just keep it the same? So. Or just do something completely new, but keep it in the same realm as Silent Hill. Because every game has a different character and different story. So I could have seen them doing, you know, brand new character, a whole reimagined nightmare in that town. It still feels like Silent Hill. Not this mishmash of fan service. My, that was my biggest con, well, second biggest con probably is the one was this, my my biggest dislike for this movie one was the storyline pacing i think he only did this the director only did this in like three months or something and it really shows with the whole oh we'll introduce this character and then they'll explain some stuff and then we'll maybe see them again and then we'll see some like really fast stupid transition action -y scene then we'll meet another character and then they'll start explaining stuff and then we'll never see them again so, and it just kept going in that pattern, which was annoying. And the other thing was the fan service. I hated 
the fan service. There was so much damn fan service. That that's what I realized in the first movie was that they it it felt like I excuse my language a clusterfuck of just junk from every every move every game and they just shoved it in one movie and I before I did this I looked up what people thought of like the first movie if they were confused because it just seemed like a mismatch of stuff and I I was wondering like would be other people be confused by what's going on if they are not familiar with the game because you shouldn't have to be familiar with the source material to understand what's going on in the movie so that's what a good movie does like when I came to Avengers I didn't see Captain America or Thor beforehand, but I had seen the Hulk, even though it's a brand new Hulk, and I've seen both Iron Man movies. So I was like, well, a good movie should explain what these characters are about. Because I did, I wasn't familiar with Captain America and his backstory, because I don't really read comics, and I didn't know what, what was behind Thor either. I watched those two movies after the Avengers, so now but they explained it so that's what a good movie was this i i don't know so i wonder so this is a question to you guys if you've ever seen the silent hill movies and you're not a fan of the games or you're not familiar with the source material were you confused when you saw it because i would think i would be confused but um but i i didn't like the fan service there was just so much fan service with the for the whole, you know, in and out characters, it's like, oh, okay, well, this person is Douglas. He's a very important character in the third game. Um, but, uh, I don't know. And and then we have, we threw in Vincent, we changed the main characters' names to Heather and Harry now. We had Claudia, we had Pyramid Head again, even though he has no rel relevance to Heather's life, but I mean it goes, I guess, with the movie, but, ugh, and we had Claudia, and we had Robbie the Rabbit, I liked Robbie the Rabbit, so I'm, I'm happy about that, and we had the dark Al Alessa thing going on, which was quite silly, very silly, um, I, someone said that they threw in a puzzle in the hotel, which was like a red high heel shoe, and so that was weird. And then they threw in the seal of Metatron, and they had Leonard and his transformation thing, which was awful. I I hated that. That was, I don't know. And um, I'll save this for the spoilers, but the ending is just so overdoing it with the fan service so we're doing it so yeah overall um before i get into spoilers just in case you haven't seen the movie so i'll tell you what i think i didn't particularly like silent hill 2 revelation there was so much potential in this movie because the source material is amazing and there's so much to work with and like i said it it, they don't have to necessarily go, you know, verbatim of the source material. They could have done something new, like what they do with the games, where they have a new main character and they put them in this environment of Silent Hill and pro and project their nightmare because that's what Silent Hill is about. Because first one had to do with Alessa's nightmare being projected onto Harry, into like onto Harry. And the second one had to do with James's guilt showing that the night his nightmare was projected into that town, and that's what makes it scary was the atmosphere, which reminds me of another con. I hate it. The movie is not scary, and it follows the formula of current horror movies of jump scare. It'll be like, boom. <gasps> And that and that's not scary. That's just annoying. So every scare is like that. Like the first of uh, the not the first second jump scare in that movie is a pop tart, a fucking pop tart. But every scare in that movie is a jump scare. It's like, oh okay, it sounds something's gonna happen, and it had the music. <laughs> Which was dumb. It was annoying, and 
Oh, I hate jump scares so much. But every single scare in that movie is a jump scare. So, this might ruin it, your experience if you have not seen it. Once it gets quiet, expect a jump scare. So, that doesn't make it scary. So, there are more cons, obviously, than pros. This movie made me appreciate the first one a little bit more, even though it didn't have the right spirit in it, because I heard that the guy, he, he seemed pretty sexist about it, um, since he wanted an all-female cast, but of course Hollywood wouldn't allow that. They had to throw in some males, of course. And he claimed to be a fan of the game, but obviously he didn't know, because he misinterpreted everything from the, the, the source material, and I, I don't know. I think if you're going to try to stick to the source material, you should research it a little better and try, and try not to shove crap all together, all willingly. But I mean, he... There are more good things in the first one than the, than the second one. The second one was just a complete rush, and, and not like a good rush, like, just throw everything together. Done. So, yeah, I, I didn't like it. So, um, my score for it, out of 5, is probably 1.5. I will give them four. I did like the, uh, I guess the casting choices are questionable, but they did, you know, I'll give them for Heather's look and Harry's look and Douglas's look. Uh, CGI was alright. Uh, the monsters were okay. The epic nurse scene was amazing. I like that. But overall, I just, there's just too much. I, I just don't know. So 1.5. So now for spoilers. So if you have not seen Silent Hill 2, just stop the video. Just stop because I, I don't want to ruin it for you and you should experience it for yourself and don't let my opinion affect how you will feel when you see it. So. I was seeing about all the different characters, like, they killed off Douglas, like, at the beginning of the movie, which was sad, because he's a very, he's a very important character in the third game. Um, I was surprised they didn't kill Harry, because he dies in the third game, um, because that would have been pretty cool, but no, no. Um, there's a joke that uh, Sean Bean didn't die. He always dies. Um, then, uh, of course, I, you know, I, I did not like Vincent's character. He seemed completely pointless and weak. He was practically the damsel in distress because he always got captured, which was lame. Um, the dark Alyssa scene was, I, I did not get it. It, it was a hug war. They were hugging and talking, and the makeup for Alyssa was, was bad. For, not, yeah, for dog Alyssa. She did look bad. And then, oh, there's a scene with uh, Alyssa walking down the street and just cursing everyone in the town. Oh, the CGI in that part looks really awkward. Um... The ending when Harry just leaves Heather with Vincent at the end was stupid and silly and it didn't make sense. I, I didn't get it, like logically, like why would you leave your daughter with this kid that you just met and kind of betrayed Heather's trust in a way by being associated with the cult? I didn't get that. Um, also pertaining to the end. I did not like the this like battle scene between Claudia's like monster form and Pyramid Head. They were fighting each other because Pyramid Head is Alyssa's guardian. When did he become a superhero? He's supposed to be a villain. He's supposed to be a monster of guilt and execution. No. Um 
I I did not like that at all. That he, all of a sudden Pyramid Head's a good guy. It's not cool. I also didn't like the scene when uh, that's with the whole Leonard transformation thing where he's just you know cutting people's arms off for no reason. That didn't make sense at all. And with the mannequin thing, we got introduced to this girl, but she soon quickly dies in like 10 seconds. So she was completely pointless. I didn't know why Heather even bothered saving her ass. Um, and as for the more the, the fan service thing, oh, they just shove so much fan service at the end. Um, Vincent and Heather jump into a 18-wheeler truck. And the trucker's name is, I believe, Travis. And this is a reference to the main character from Silent Hill Origins. Now, in a way, for like a split second, I thought, oh, you know, that's kind of clever because he's like leaving and in the game he like saves Alyssa from what, the, the burning or whatever in the house. I, I vaguely remember what happened. I was like, oh, well, maybe that's what they're playing off of. But no, I'm, I'm pretty sure this movie isn't that clever to think of something like that. But that was, I was like, oh, I see what you did there, movie. Yeah. But um, then once I saw these, this, the police cars and the prison bus enter into Silent Hill, I'm like, oh, no. Please don't tell me you're going to be making a third one based off Silent Hill Downpour. Because in Silent Hill Downpour, it's a prisoner, uh, Murphy, and he gets trapped into Silent Hill, and he's being transported, I don't know, to Silent Hill or through Silent Hill, something like that. So it seemed like they were trying to segue a third movie. I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's, it's uncertain. I'm kind of hoping they don't, because so far they've just, they've, they've gone downhill and I'm I'm frustrated. I I'm really looking forward to fixing <laughs> to to proving that there there can be a good video game movie. Oh my god. So yeah, um if you wanna go see it, you you can I have heard people said that they like it, and I've heard some people who said they hate it. And these are from fans and non-fans, so everyone's p opinion is different. This is my opinion. I didn't really particularly like it that much. There's just too many problems, just as a as a silent home movie and as a horror movie, because I like both. Um, I just failed completely. And, um, I'm sorry that this has gone so long, but, um, I'll just say I wish you guys all a happy Halloween, and thank you for bearing with me through this long Silent Hill review, and also the dead space on my vlog. I'm really sorry about that, and hopefully I will be able to rectify it soon when I have free time. Everyone be safe, and, um... Maybe I'll make another video when I get a chance. Um, I have some stuff to update about and entertain my business. And be careful of poisonous apples and candy and razor blades. Everyone, I hope you guys have a happy Halloween and watch awesome, great horror movies. Actual scary ones, not jump scares. Oh, and um, American Horror Story too. See you guys. Peace.